and welcome to a special tutorial video showing you how to port Minecraft maps from the internet, downloaded on the internet, onto a USB onto this. stick. Yes, onto, this onto thing. the USB stick. That's tiny, but it <laughs> holds a lot. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to put that on and actually how to make a storage device for your 360, okay, Xbox 360. So what we're going to do, we're going to download a map onto an Apple Mac uh, and then take it from the Apple Mac and then put it onto our USB stick. So the first things first, we're going to have to uh, format kind of our USB stick. So Django, do you want to just pop the USB stick into the uh, into the Xbox controller there? So there's a little hole in the front there. So we're going to just shove it in there. Once you've got your USB stick shoved into the front of your Xbox 360, what I want you to do is go into your menu and use your controller and go all the way to the right to the settings. And now go to the system, which is this thing over here. And once you're in your system, I want you to go down to storage. Okay, then we want to go to the USB storage device. And it's going to say, do you want to configure now to set up your USB device for Xbox 360 storage? And you say, yes, please. So press A. And there you go. This will remove all the content on the device and configure it for the Xbox 360. Do you want to continue? Yes, you do. Once the USB stick is all formatted and all lovely and you've signed into your account, you can then go and play some Minecraft. Because what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to save a game onto your memory stick. Hmm. And you can see the memory stick up there. So we're going to select a device and we're going to create a new world. And it doesn't matter what new world you need to create, just create a new world. It can be anything you like. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually using your ID, your kind of profile ID and that's that that has a little number on it and we're going to need to use that number for when we go onto the Mac a little bit later on and we're going to use Velocity which is a lovely special program we're going to scoop out some of this data that's being saved onto the memory stick right now okay so you can go down to create a new world you can play it for a little bit so you do a little victory dance when you've installed your server play it for a couple of minutes we didn't even have to play it for a couple of minutes. What you've got to do is make sure that you've saved the world onto your memory stick. So it's preparing a save level now. All that data, all that juicy data is being put onto your memory stick. There we go, look at that. Walking around the world. Lovely. Now, can you just uh, hop out of that, Django, and make sure you saved it? And once you've saved it, you can turn your 360 off, take your uh, device upstairs, and we'll go onto the Mac, and I'll show you what to do next. Save and exit. Okay, here we are into the desktop. And I've got a couple of things on my desktop that I just want to quickly show you. I've got the USB stick that I've been formatted and I've put a, a saved game onto that USB stick. Okay, that's really important. So we saved a game onto the USB stick from Minecraft downstairs and that's gonna give us our profile number, a special number that uh, it connects us to our profile. So when we look for other games that we're going to be saving on that, we're going to use that as our profile number. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. I've also got uh, my Minecraft map that I'm interested in uploading and putting onto my USB stick. And we're going to have to change a few things about that uh, to make it work properly. Now, you can get, and I've also got Velocity. So Velocity is an Xbox 360 file manager. You can get that from this website here, okay? And you scroll down and you go download all platforms. That opens up uh, another page and you can see, uh, here we go, there's the Mac Macintosh version there. And you want version, you know, uh, 0 0.1. So that's the one that we're after, okay? So I've we, we've downloaded that. We've got that all working and running in the background. Fantastic. Now, I'm not going to tell you where you can get your Minecraft maps from. There's loads of places on the internet. That's not what this is about. This, this is a tutorial to show you how to use Velocity and how to get how to transfer things across. Okay? So, first things first. There's my USB stick. There's my, the, my Minecraft map that I'm interested in, in uploading. Now, first of all, I'm going to go into Velocity and I'm going to go into Tools and I'm going to go along to Device Tools and to Raw Device Viewer. That means it's going to look for my flash drive. There's my flash drive. I'm going to open it up in the left hand side, look for content, and uh, there we go. So what on earth is going on in this kind of uh, hierarchy tree? It's Well, this hierarchy tree is, the, is all your saves. So if you've only got Minecraft saved on here, 
brilliant. If you've got loads of other games saved on here, you're going to be looking for a folder with uh, this number on it. Okay, I'm going to open that down there, and that's the one folder there. So you can see we've got Minecraft save info on the right hand side. That's all brilliant, and what we're looking for is these numbers up here, and we've got some numbers up here. We've got this special, so we've got drive, backslash content, backslash content, backslash, and then a number that starts with E0002, something, 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 all the way to that, and then there's another black backslash there. This is the uh, profile name on this on the save that's on that uh, that's on your USB stick. So when you saved it, when you signed into the, your profile, your profile number is this profile number up here. So I'm going to copy that. Okay, fantastic. Copied. I'm going to just get rid of that. Just put it down there for the time being. And I'm going to have to change the uh, our Minecraft map over here. So I'm going to drag this from the desktop into Velocity. Boom, there it is. And you can see there's our profile ID. Now it's not the same as the one I'm using. So watch this very carefully. I'm going to paste it in. Paste. And you can see I've pasted in a new number. So that new number is my profile when I play on the Xbox 360. That's my special number. And uh, there we go. <clears throat> I'm going to then press this button over here. Rehash, resign. Bink. The package has successfully been rehashed and resigned. Okay, thank you very much. And then I'm going to get my device view up again. Okay, and then all we have to do is just drag this in. Okay, so we've dragged that into this folder down here, and it's as simple as that. What we can do, okay, so we've now copied that over to the uh, USB stick. We have put our profile number on it, you know, so rewind. The video if you've if you missed all that and then we're going to go downstairs and we're going to see if it's worked okay let's do it it's as simple as that it's done eject your uh, eject that so once you've come back downstairs and put your usb stick back into your xbox 360 you can then load up minecraft come on okay wait for it to load up Wave in front of the thing. Hello. Hello. <laughs> There's Minecraft loading up. And then because you've added in uh, a USB stick, when you're going to be playing the game, it's going to know that there's an extra storage device. So Minecraft is going to say, which which storage device are you going to want me to load up? Which Where are your maps stored? So we're going to go into this bit. So this game is auto save level, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we're going to play game. And here we go. So it's going to say which which memory unit do you want, the USB one or the memory unit? We want the USB one at the top, Django. Okay. Okay. And there's our new game that we put on just a moment ago on the computer uh, upstairs. So you, then you can use that. You can play. You can change the game mode. All sorts of different things, especially if it's a if it's a map, an adventure map that you've downloaded that some other people have created too. So I hope that's answered any of your questions. We're going to play this game now and have quite good fun with it. If for some reason it hasn't worked, I should imagine it's something to do with uh, with basically if you've kind of created a map and it's got corrupted or something like that, or it's not really a Minecraft map in a way. You don't have to unzip it. You don't have to do any of those things. It's a dot bin map, uh, bin bin file, and all that kind of stuff too. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you've uh, hope you've uh, solved any problems you might have had, and I look forward to hearing any kind of comments and stuff in the comments below. Until then, see you later. Bye.